Good evening, welcome to Throttle Cable. I'm Rob and this is going to be a super quick video and it's just a little update on the fire extinguisher mount I put in the car yesterday. If you saw the video you would have seen there is two side brackets and one centre mount and that centre mount I put in from the, the bottom of the seat facing upwards and what I'd said is really it needs to come down from the top but to do so you have to remove the seat swap. Well I'm not doing that, sent my little perfectionist mind into a rage and overnight I decided today I just had to undo it all and get it in from the top as, it, as it's meant to be. And frustratingly, it's really, really easy. Um, it, it takes probably less than five minutes to actually lift a bit of that seat swab up just enough so you can get the screw in the top. So I'll show you how to do it and uh, yeah, you can add that into the steps. This little centre bolt had been bugging me because I knew it was meant to go in from the top. So since yesterday, I've been giving it some thought and it's remarkably easy to get above it. You just have to pop these two white clips out by pulling out the centre and then levering them off and they just slide off the top, one on each side. Undo the two screws here. Remove the lever, which just literally pulls off the side. And you pull this outward so it clears this spacing and all of a sudden, you can get right into the top. So I'm just going to uh, reverse that screw so it's going down rather than up and uh, put my mind to rest, put it all back together. And that's the top one in. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Pop off the two white clips. As I say, these pull out and then these just lever off the side of these bars that they're, they're securing it to. And then just pull the two sides out once you've released the screws and the, uh, the head of the, the seat riser. It's not difficult at all. I wish I'd done it the first time. It takes a lot longer to lift your seat out and put it backwards, I'll tell you that, than it does to do this. Make sure you do it first time. Here's a couple of extra bits just to make the video worthwhile. Here's the document holder. I'll tell you how you remove it. Here's a couple of stainless steel bolts that can smarten up the car. So the document holder that sits underneath the driver's side of the car. If, like me, you wanted to remove it to gain a bit of space, it's a very easy thing to do. Basically, it's held in by these... Uh, these pins which press, if I can get that back into focus, that press through this plug and essentially clamp these pins out. If you want to remove it without doing any damage, don't rip it off. All you need to do is push these all the way through. So all I did was use essentially a punch and then just push it essentially the whole way through so it pops out the other side. You can collect this little part from the inside of the dash, you just need to get your hands behind it. But once you pop those two off, it just slides off the back. So that kind of just comes over the back of the uh, the casing of, of the dash and then these two plugs go up into the dash. So if you're careful, yep, you can push it straight through. You can collect the pieces as they, as they pop out the top and you can uh, save it to reinstall at any given point with zero damage. Another tip, if you've got an aero kit like me, you may find that the two bolts either side of the rear wing, so four Allen bolts in total, they start to corrode and look a little bit mucky. Um, I actually uh, ordered a new one of these bolts from Porsche and found out it started to corrode within a month, which was pretty disappointing. But much better solution, if you are close to a, a screw fix in the UK, you can buy a pack of A2 stainless M6x16 countersunk, exactly the same bolt but in A2 stainless steel, and replace them without bother and without any more corrosion issue. <laughs> 